guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Rosa and on this channel we make plant-based food for you and your family to enjoy. So today I'm excited because we're going to make something quick, super easy, and only has two ingredients. And that is our chickpea tofu. Here's why you're going to want to make this tofu. It's great for those who have problems digesting soy. It's cost effective and cheap to make. It's high in plant-based proteins. Chickpeas are great for heart health. Chickpeas are also rich in fiber and gluten-free. But most of all, it is delicious. So let me show you what I did to make it. So before you start the recipe, be sure to oil a shallow pan so that your tofu doesn't stick. So to a pot, we're gonna add two cups of chickpea flour and three cups of water. And we're gonna whisk that to make sure we don't have any lumps. We're gonna take it to the stove and cook it on medium heat. I'm gonna add a teaspoon of salt to it. You don't have to, but I think it needs a little more flavor, but that's optional. So we're gonna to continue to stir this while it's on medium heat. And it should take about 10 minutes and we're looking to get it to like a thick pudding type texture. As it starts to get thicker, Definitely use the whisk because you want to make sure you it doesn't get a lot of clumps in it. You want it to be like a smooth, thick, puddingy texture. And this is really thick, see? So now we can change into a spoon so we can scrape out the bottom part, make sure it's not sticking. process should take about about five to eight minutes. Okay, so now that we have it all spread out on the pan, we're gonna pop it in the refrigerator and let it sit for overnight or at least eight hours to stiffen up. Hey guys, I wanted to get on and share some exciting news with you. So most of you guys know I've been working on a new plant-based cookbook and it's done. Vic's cookbook contains 40 delicious recipes, which includes breakfast, lunch, dinner, and desserts. It's perfect for those who are new to plant-based cooking, or if you're living a busy lifestyle, or even if you just want something quick and easy to prepare, but tastes delicious, this cookbook is definitely for you. I put a link in the description so you can order your cookbook today. All right, so now back to the video. Okay, friends, so I allowed the tofu to sit overnight and this is what it looks like. So it's really sturdy. You get a lot for what we mixed. So this will, I don't know, yield a family worth of tofu. <laughs> but it is a lot of tofu. And I cut it last night and tested a little bit. So if you add a little salt to it, like I said, you won't need to like add salt on the outside of it if you bake it. So vice versa, if you didn't add in, in it, you can add a little salt, but it's not necessary. It tastes good regardless. So. What we're gonna do is slice them up and put it in the air fryer. So there's a few different ways you can um, cook it. You can actually slice it up, saute it in a pan, you can bake it in the oven, cut it into cubes, and you can also bake it in your air fryer where it'll get nice and puffy and like kind of a little bit creamy inside. So we're gonna do the air fryer right now. So let me get some cut up.
All right, so when you bake them in the air fryer, I just like to um, put it on the air fryer setting. So every air fryer is slightly different, but I bake them for like about 15 minutes and halfway through, I turn them over. So basically bake them till they get puffed up and kind of brown, okay? So I added about a tablespoon of oil to the uh, frying pan and heating it up on medium high heat. You don't have to add oil if, you, if you're, you know, omitting oil in your diet, but I like to add it so that it doesn't stick to the pan. All right, so this is how they turned out. So with our pan seared one, I put about a tablespoon of oil in the pan. And definitely if you're not gonna use any oil, use a non-stick pan. But they came out nice and crunchy on the outside. Somewhat creamy on the inside as well, but a little bit more sturdy, see? And let me show you. It's almost like a french fry. <laughs> okay, it tastes good. With the oil, it does give it kind of a french fry vibe. <laughs> so I might have to go with this one. Although, these chickpea tofus are really delicious, so it's nice and crispy on the outside when you cook in an air fryer. Mmm. Mmm. You see it's nice and creamy on the inside. It's so good. And since they came out so delicious, I'm gonna have it today for lunch in this delicious Buddha bowl. Thank you for watching this video. And if you like videos like this, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you wanna see more videos that I upload every week. So I will talk to you later. I'm gonna go have my lunch. I love you and thank you for watching. Bye.